Hey, Jen Banks here. This is the podcast A is for Adversity, and I'm going to talk about being more intentional about our thoughts and our goals so we can make our lives happen instead of letting life happen to us. This is episode number 27, Z, 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 or Catching Some Z's. The sponsor for this episode is Kimberly Johnson. She has a lot of things going on right now, including the pregnancy of her first child. Congrats, Kimberly. So she will be taking a break from being a sponsor. So hurry and place an order before she can't get to it. Her Etsy shop name is Noelle J Designs. I don't know about you, but I get thoughts at inconvenient times. In the shower, while I'm driving, one time even during a massage, and I felt stuck because I couldn't write them down right then. The most common one, though, is when I'm trying to sleep. Charlotte Bronte said, A ruffled mind makes a restless pillow. Isn't that the truth? There is no tired like being a mom tired. (laughs) Though I'm sure, even if you're not a mom, you have busy lives because there's so many things to do out there. You're probably working and living. So I have a thought for you to try on. The thought is, this is exactly the amount of sleep I need. That feels a lot better to me than, ugh, I'm so tired, I did not get enough sleep last night. It does not do us well to dwell on it. Jody Moore points out that the feeling of fatigue can either start in our brains or in our bodies. The way we identify this is if it's an emotion or a sensation. Where do you feel it in your body? Is it really the lack of sleep or is it just the thoughts you're having about that lack? Remember, sleep is the circumstance. It's just neutral. You got this many hours of sleep, this many minutes. For me, it's harder and less enjoyable to be sleepy than to change my thoughts. But both are hard. It just requires thought work either way. And while it's hard in the moment, no one looks back on their life and remembers the nights they had plenty of sleep. Leonardo da Vinci said, As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so a life well-spent brings happy death. And I know for me, happiness is reaching my goals. And J.M. Power says, if you want your dreams to come true, the first thing you have to do is wake up. Go for it. Get at it. Be intentional. Live it up. It looks like this might be a little mini episode. I'm going to sleep and this podcast is going to sleep for a bit. I will see you in season two. But before I leave, your weekly wisdom is this by Henry David Thoreau. Our truest life is when we are in our dreams awake. See you in season two. In the meantime, please share this with all your friends, recommend it, double tap on Instagram, and leave me a review. Catch you later. Have a good night. (laughs) Hopefully you're still listening. Because this episode ended up being so short, I decided to provide some bonus content in the form of a preview for next season. Back in episode M, I mentioned Matthew Dix, the storyteller. He is the author of the book Storyworthy, a nonfiction book about finding, crafting, and telling your life stories. I briefly scratched the surface of storytelling in that episode by including some tips from his book. That was then, this is now. I'm an even bigger fan of Matthew Dix, and I have a bigger desire to share this concept of storytelling with others. I've started listening to his podcast that he and his wife co-host, entitled Speak Up. He and his wife also run a storytelling theater with the same name, in Hartford, Connecticut. I also recommended, in episode M, his TED Talk entitled Homework for Life. You can find that on YouTube, and it has an astounding 51,000 views. I strongly encourage you to watch that prior to season two. I will be starting the alphabet again, but this time in the context of storytelling. I will be sharing strategies from his book, Storyworthy, as well as stories using those strategies and guests incorporating those strategies as well. He, Matthew Dix, will be the first guest on my podcast this season. I cannot believe he agreed to come on my little podcast. Stay tuned for the first episode The Art and Craft of Storytelling with Matthew Dix and his wife, Alicia Dix. I've been doing homework for life for 142 days now, and I don't plan on stopping. 
I invite you to do the same. I will be taking a few weeks off for the summer, including for my anniversary, but season two will officially start July 22nd. Talk to you then. <laughs>